Ladies and gentlemen, you know my next guest as Nikki Nichols on Orange is the New Black. She now directs, writes, and stars in the new Netflix series, Russian Doll. Please welcome Natasha Leone. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Nice to see you again. The theater district, Manhattan. That's exactly. Yeah. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for How having me. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Wild times, all the time. Yeah. Wild yeah. times for you or for the world? I mean, is it? It's all. It's all one big idea. Everything is upside down all the time. Let's everything face it. seems. Everything seems. Uh, the word I like is just weird. Yes. Yes. Weird. Is it we're under some sort of spell? Weird is generous. I would say generous. Okay, what would you say? Eh, you know, effed uh, and <laughs> and weird. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so I would yeah. just add effin, to it. Effing weird. Yes, great. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yes. So when you say when you say uh, uh, the, the, the theater district, yes. are, you, are, you, are you familiar with? It? Have you have you've uh, you've done Broadway? Oh yeah, I've walked these streets many years, decades. Yeah. Uh, you've you've you've, <laughs> you've, you've, yeah. you've worked them, right? You haven't just walked oh, them. Oh yeah, you've I, I know them. these. Yeah. I know this town. Yeah. And, uh, How long have you been working as a professional actor? I have a SAG card from 1984. Okay. 1984. I mean, and I thank you so much. I see that there's a lot of. <laughs> SAG union members here tonight. Um, <laughs> it's incredible the way people show up sure, for the union. Sure, exactly. And uh, yeah. Jimmy Hoffa is a, a major guy. We miss him. And I love Teamsters. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. Because they can some, lift things. Th well, and they're excellent drivers, which I'm not. So many reasons why I love them. Well, yeah. um, Russian Doll, uh, your your new Netflix show, yeah. is uh, it's the toast of the town. Thank you. It's the toast of the town. Yeah, I mean. I'll be honest, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with the amount of kind of goodness, you know, this is something that I've worked on for so long. Uh, like, like, you know, we're indicating it's been a, a lifetime of kind of uh, acquiring information. And How long then, have you worked on this project? On this project specifically, I would say about seven years. Uh, I actually found these uh, old emails, you know, in the theater district. Uh, I'd done this wonderful play with uh, Nora Efron and her sister Delia Efron, who I'm still very close with. and. I found this, like, I don't even know how I was searching for it, uh, but it popped up with this old email from Nora that was like, what we discussed today, a TV show. You play a character named Nadia. And I'd always named my characters Nadia after my favorite 80s gymnast, Nadia Comaneci. And, you know, like she you chain smokes. She chain smokes. She has existential dilemmas, you know, and so forth. Sex or no sex and so forth. And it's all written sort of like Nora mm -hmm. in a way that was... Uh, you know, uh, deeply moving, and so it goes back a while, and then, of course, um, you know, Amy Poehler, and, and how, uh, you know, she really sort of called me up and set it off. Uh, so for the people who don't know, yeah. explain the, the, the premise of the show. Uh, well, you know, life, and uh, <laughs> this is how we pitched it, Stephen. I understand, I understand. Yeah, yeah I understand, uh, yeah. You know, and, and here we are, and so on, and... Uh, but your character, yes. every... Am I giving anything away no, to say this? please. At the end of every episode, your character dies. Ish, you know, uh, ish, ish, you know, in often daring in the middle, any number okay. of times. In every episode. Yeah, and I mean, uh, on a deeper level, I would say that it's it's really about a kind of a, a metaphorical bottoming out that I really have, uh, you know, a, a deep uh, relationship to based on my own life, which is why it felt sort of not too far fetched and a little bit more um, akin to an all that jazz or something, or. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Richard Pryor, Jojo Dancer, Your Life is Calling, which mm -hmm. is a, a hit nobody really watches. And, uh, you know, you want to base things on that. And they went wild for your all that jazz yeah. reference, too. Yeah. Well, I'm you with know, you. I'm I got you, kiddo. I'm just knocking it out of the park gotcha. all day. I got gotcha. you. Uh, well, we have a clip. We have yeah. a, do, we have, do we have the clip here? We have a clip here of you trying to explain to someone what you are saying, because your character is aware of what's happening to Oh, her. yeah, she's aware and, and, and sort of uh, up against the wall, trying to stop it. You know, it's, uh, it's a snow globe of horror that she's in. Life. And, uh, yeah, and it, uh, take pla it takes place here in Manhattan, one of the, uh, you know, a place where horrors abound. So and it's... who are you talking to in, in this uh, clip? Well, I'm not sure what you're going to show. Oh, I'm guessing Ruth, who's based on my real godmother, Ruth. She's a big, um, a high roller at the Borgata in Atlantic City, mostly the slot machines. Oh. Chain smoker, True. Carlton. True story? True story, facts. Wow, let's get her yeah. on. Yeah, Elizabeth Ashley. Jim. 
I went to Maxine's. Uh, we got into a fight, so I tried to leave. I fell down the stairs. I broke my neck, and I died. Okay. Okay. So then, uh, I'm back at the party. I try to leave, yeah. Uh, fall down the stairs, break my neck again, right? So, um, I died, I died, I died, I died. That's four times. Um, you were such a difficult teenager. I believe it. Thank you for being here. Thank nice you to so see you much. Again. It was nice to see you. Thanks so Russian much. Russian Dolls available on Netflix now. Natasha Leone, everybody. We'll be right back.